What is going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR, where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content. Today, we're gonna be going over the top five MetaQuest shooters that are on the MetaQuest store for Quest 2 and Quest 3. Um, this list uh, was a little easier than making the top 10 list, which you guys can find in the time card above. Um, the top 10 list was definitely pretty hard to make because just rating top 10 games in all the genres, like there's a lot of really amazing Quest games right now on the store and so many good games still coming. So it's a good thing for VR right now, no doubt. But we're gonna be going over the top five shooters um, that you can currently get on the Quest store. And if I missed your game, please do leave that in the comment section. I do like to hear what you guys say and I do sometimes occasionally find games that way. So make sure you leave that in the comments, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and, um, and a word from our sponsors, Kiwi Designs. If you guys are looking to upgrade your VR gaming experience, then look no further than the Kiwi Design's full suite of VR accessories. These accessories are absolutely incredible and very high quality made. They make everything from Quest 2 to Quest 3 accessories, including battery straps to increase your play sessions, comfort straps just to increase the comfort of the headset, controller grips to prevent you from throwing the controllers, and much, much more. If you guys are interested in upgrading your VR gaming experience, please do check out the referral link in the description. Every sale does help the channel, so I do appreciate it, and I hope you guys found the accessories you're looking for right here. Okay, guys, so with our first pick here, um, I do want to talk about a game that I have known about and has been around for a long time. But before I do that, I do have to say something. These games on this list are shooter games. And when I mean shooter games, I'm talking PvP, like shooting guns at other people with guns. We're not talking about sci-fi or zombie games or survival games that have guns in them. Like there's a lot of VR games that have guns in them. I'm talking about a true shooter game where there's multiplayer of some sort and you're fighting against other people with guns or even a uh, PVE situation. But the, this is all like real, true, true to true to nose shooters is what I'm talking about. So if I missed a game like AKA after the fall or something like that, I, yes, after the fall is technically a shooter, but it's a zombie shooter. So I would categorize that just a slightly different than actual shooters. So with that being said, Onward. Onward is a military sim in VR that um, has been around for quite a while. And Downpour Interactive have just updated the game into a state where it's just really an amazing title all around. And I have a lot of hours on Onward. Onward was my first love in VR. It was the first game. as a reason I bought the touch controllers back whenever, like 2016, like when the touch controllers weren't even out yet, I had a VR headset and I was playing flight sims and um, stuff. And then I, I saw Onward and I was like, okay, I have to go out and buy those touch controls. I think I got them like the first week they were out or something like that. And it was just an incredible title. It was, it was such an incredible experience um, being able to do that. It was the first time I had really played like a free open game like that in VR. And Onward has a special piece of my heart. It still does have a community to it. It still has some fun. It's the most realistic out of all the shooters. If you're really looking for something real and realistic, Onward's gonna do it for you. I have some of my best VR gaming memories from back in the day from Onward. It's an amazing title. There is co-op, there's PVP, there's a community in Onward. It's a good game overall, and it's definitely worth you checking out if you're looking for a milsim. All right, and at number four, I had to put it on this list too. It's population one. Um, it, despite, listen, I I got, I have like almost 2000 hours on this game. So like, I it's my, it's my game. It's my game. I'm biased towards it. I will always love Pop One. It'll always hold a place in my heart. It's, it's been my favorite game for years now. I've made friends that I've actually met in real life on this game. I, I just, these, this, this is an incredible title. It's got a community. And when I say the, the community is the game, like the game's good, kinda, but the community is better. And the, the, the game itself is still a good game. And like the mechanics of the game are so good. Um, I have my gripes with it. I think that the developers definitely are not updating it. Um, you know what they need to do, like they're letting the game slip and it's a shame because it is the only battle royale currently that is of even this caliber at all on the MetaQuest platform, which I just don't know how you can neglect that. I mean, maybe they're just getting away with it. That is going to be changing in this coming year. Uh, AKA Contractor Showdown and Gravity Royale. I'm going to be doing some videos on those later on this year, um, you know, in this next month or so. But yes, Population One's the only BR right now that is on the MetaQuest platform. And it's basically like kind of a Fortnite clone. And like, what are they doing? How are they fumbling this? They're fumbling it. But the shame of it is, is that it's still a good game. Like at its core, like I still would recommend it. Like if you're looking for a social experience that is also a good shooter with great mechanics and a lot of fun and a lot of people that you can play with and a lot of, you know, there's so many memories that can be made in this game. It's a great game and the foundation is a fantastic. The climbing, the flying, the movement is just, it's its better than any other VR game I've ever played, the movement wise. Like they pioneered, they, they when this game came out in 2020, like it was ahead of its time and they had all these plans and it was going so well and it was amazing and it got everybody just hooked into this game and the gameplay loop is so addicting. 
And then Meta bought them, and it's just been kind of all downhill since. They really just haven't taken care of the game, and it's really a shame. That being said, though, it is free, so check it out. There's no reason not to check it out. It's a free game, so you can just download it, and I'm telling you, it's, it's an amazing title still, despite all the gripes I have with it. And, you know, I've been playing for a long time, so I've seen the stages of the game. I know it can be a way better game than it is, and it's just being neglected. So um, I personally don't give them much money anymore because uh, they don't take care of the game, but it's free and it's pretty good. So I definitely recommend checking it out here at number four. Okay, so with our next pick on this list, we have a game that I took some heat in the comments section on for not putting it on the top 10 quest games list. And okay, fair enough. It is a great game. And and you know what? The only reason it didn't end up on the list is because it is on App Lab. It's not a traditional game. And you know, Meta has to put it on App Lab, even though it's better than like half the Meta Quest store. But like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And that's Ghost of Tabor. This game is basically Escape from Tarkov, built from the ground up for VR with a whole VR community and, you know, VR mechanics. Do I need to say any more? No? Okay, well, I will. Um, regardless, the game's got a community. The game is a challenge. The game is fun. There's a lot of replay value in this game. The game runs pretty good. The game looks pretty good. The game is good. It's just that simple. It's Escape from Tarkov, but in VR, in its its own VR version of it, you know? And what I love so much about it is that, you know, it's not a port, right? Like it's a, it's a full VR game built from the ground up for VR. And, and these, again, these are the type of titles we're starting to see come more to VR. And that alone is just amazing because there's something for everybody now. This game isn't for everybody. I will say, if you're a fan of a little bit more hardcore shooters with some scavenging and you know the, the fact that your your loadouts reset and you have to kind of you know you have to collect stuff and then if, you know at a new season there's you know you, you lose all that stuff and you got to go out there and do it again and you know it's not really a story it's more about you know playing with your friends and fighting against other people then i think this game's going to be for you and if that is your type of game, you're going to probably sink a tremendous amount of hours into this title. A lot of hours in this title. This is not one of those games that, you know, you're going to pick up and only play one time through. If you like this game, this is going to become your game. You're going to put thousands of hours in. No different than me with Pop 1. Like, that's my game. I've got thousands of hours in Pop 1. A lot of people are going to have thousands of hours in Ghost of Tabor. It's a good game. It's really solid. I highly recommend it. All right, here and at number two, I had to put it on this list. It could not be on the list, and that is Contractors. Contractors is a great game, guys. I it, it's got it still has a player base to it. The mods are amazing in this game. You can play on Halo maps, you can play on Call of Duty maps, you can play on Star Wars maps with Star Wars guns, with Halo guns, with World War II guns on World War II. There's there's a lot going on in this game. Not only that. The mechanics of the game are really good. The reloading feels, this is the best reloading I've ever seen in a game, by the way. Like still to this day for shooters, like the reloading in this game just feels so good. Like you pull a magazine out, you put a magazine in and just the way it sticks, it just feels so satisfying to reload and kill like three people and then reload again. And you just, you feel like a, you know, a commando playing this game. But I really like Contractors a lot. I think the dev team's done an amazing job. Hint, hint, why the Contractors Battle Royale coming out later this year is gonna be incredible, but Contractors is a good game. It's basically the Call of Duty of VR. And it's, it's, I've had a lot of fun playing Contractors. I've played for a lot of hours in this game. I think it's a really solid shooter overall and definitely worth your time. All right, and at number one, um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's so good. It really is. I gotta put Breachers here. And, and the reason why, the reason why I gotta put Breachers here is because I think that out of all the games I've listed on this list, it's, it's, I don't want to say newer because there's some other games like Ghost of Tabor is relatively new as well. Um, Contractors, Onward, Pop One, those are older games. And I, I don't know how much more is going to be coming, especially for a game like Contractors we just talked about, right? Like that game, you know, probably is done being updated for the most part because they're working on another version of it, the Battle Royale version. So yeah, Pop One, I mean, we already know the state of that game. And then Onward's been around for a long time and they, they've continued to add things. But I mean, it's definitely probably, you know, with the back half of its, of its life cycle, right? Reachers, on the other hand, only came out earlier this year. Reachers probably plays the smoothest out of all these games. It's just great, and they're updating it, and there's so much coming to it. It's Rainbow Six Siege, but in VR, and it's built from the ground up with VR with a lot of VR mechanics, and just the game itself plays amazing. I, I've had so much fun, especially when you get into a good lobby. Like, that's... The game can get so intense rounds you know when you you're going up and it just it just climbs the next thing you know it's tied six six and you're going into the final round and 
I just, I love it. I love the strategy that's involved. It really does actually involve strategy in some military aspects. I think that in the games, you know, a little bit more realistic, I think, um, definitely more towards like an onward type. So, you know, it's definitely not running and gunning, but it's just enough. Like you can survive a couple shots. So it's not like insta death, but like, it's just enough. It, it, what I love most about Breachers is it's paced correctly. The pace of the game is perfect. It takes 30 or so minutes to complete a full match. I like that. It gives you the chance to settle into a game, to really learn your opponent, to really grind it out. If you guys are in a, you know, you're down 3-0 and all of a sudden, you know, one, you know, you, you, you figure it out, right? Or, you know, you, a new player joins, like, you know, I was actually pretty good at Breachers. I put some hours in it, I got kind of good at the game. You know, I would make a difference, right? I could kill their whole team. And then all of a sudden we're back in it. We're fighting from the back up. Like, it's a great game. I think it's the best shooter currently on the MetaQuest store. I think there's something here for everyone. Um, it's, it's like I said, it's not quite as hard as Onward is when it comes to like hardcore, but you know, it's, it's not super difficult to pick up. It's a, it's got great mechanics. The guns feel good. The game looks amazing. It's a really good game. And I think it deserves to be the number one shooter. But like I said, I'd like to hear from you guys. So with that being said, that's today's list, guys. I hope you guys found a shooter game you like. I know I left some good shooter games off this list. I mean, we can think about a couple like Zero Caliber is not a bad game. Could sneak could sneak in somewhere in a top 10 list for sure, not a top five list. I don't think there's, there's not enough multiplayer. Oh, Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. More of a story-based game, but really solid game. There's a lot of shooters that, um you know, are on the store. And let, let's face it, shooters play really well in VR. So there's going to be a lot of shooters that are going to be available, but... These are kind of the best five that I could pick, but I do want to hear from you guys. Please do leave those in the comment section below. I do want to hear about that. Um, I do I do enjoy reading them. And on top of that, it, sometimes like, occasionally I'll find a new game that I never heard of before. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to try that game out. So appreciate that. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are looking for Quest accessories, please do check the link in the description um, for the Kiwi Design stuff. It does help my channel out. Every time if you guys order something from that link, I do get compensation, which does help me. And I appreciate that. So... But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.